got a my own, uh, as it were, um, boon to pick. Um, oh, thanks for pulling the mirrors. Uh, that's so nice. Um, I, I appreciate that, CSL. Like, you can't... Because we truly are a nation in decline. There are 13 million and 94. Five of return into super murderers wandering the countryside. We have an open border that is so open that even when the migrants come in, they fall right out again like my butthole after eating a giant slather of whatever the fuck is in those wrappers from McDonald's. I really couldn't tell you. I don't even bother to look. I just go, and they disappear. And then there's just a piece of paper, and then I wipe my face with it, and then I go back to sleep with crumbs on my chest. We truly are a nation in decline. A nation in decline. A nation in decline. Okay, I'm fine. <laughs> like, I can't tell you that, like, <laughs> that, uh, that, mu uh, that music is so, and it's not, it, the poor guy, like, uh, this guy, Will Vandercromert, who wrote this, is just kind of like the free YouTube music. Trump rips this shit off, makes this kind of, you know, sweet piece of music, and then Trump turns it into this fucking, Opera for idiots. <laughs> All right, there was oh, where the fuck did I? I had a um. Really right, shit. Yeah, here it is. Okay, this one's short too. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll kind of build up to this. <laughs> um, you know, sometimes there's some questions, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to House Parks Mega Worldwide. Um, there's some questions that are just, you know, how they say there's no no such thing as a stupid question. I beg to differ. I think there's no such thing as a dumb question, but uh, but there are definitely some stupid fucking questions. There are definitely some stupid questions, um, and and I'll tell you why. Because a um, a dumb question, there's no such thing as a, a dumb question. Because you ask a question, so you're no longer dumb. The whole point is to learn something. It's to gain information. So, yeah, you're dumb for not asking a question that you need the answer to because you're seeking knowledge. That's what a question is for, right? Meanwhile, a stupid question is, you already know the answer, you just don't like it. So you keep asking this question, it's fucking stupid. You know better. We've already answered this. We know the reality. There's actually a truth. We've told you what the truth is. And if you keep asking the question, seeking a new answer, you're stupid. It's a stupid question. <laughs> this is a stupid question. Okay. There are no dumb questions. There are stupid questions. And the king of that right now, ladies and gentlemen, is uh, this little fella. Look at the little fella. Look at him. Look at him with his little peach shirt. Look at him. Just, just a human womp womp. Just, just look at him. Ladies and gentlemen, the mess D'Souza. Joining us today, just a walking, it's like his shoes make that noise with every step, just womp, womp. I think I'll go to the, uh, see what Debbie's doing in the kitchen. Womp, womp. <laughs> and here's where I, you're, you're, I know you're going, how, what, what about the stupid question thing? What are you talking about? What do you, why would you say that? This this would be, this would be the, the very definition of a stupid question. There's no dumb questions, but there's some stupid questions. This, ladies and gentlemen, is a stupid question, and the only thing stupider, if I can borrow a word from uh, Lawrence O'Donnell, um, you know, I, I would go with more stupid, but whatever. <clears throat> Who am I to uh, second guess, Lawrence? <sighs> The only thing stupider is the answer. Is Trump a marketing genius? Take it away, the mess D'Souza. About Trump is he, he has a way, even when he's under attack. He's got a way about him. I don't know what it is. 
It kinda smells like poop and asshole. He's got a way about him. He says it's 183, but it's closer to 285. He's got a way. I can, let's think about it. The left dominates right now the institutions of coolness. Who ha You're welcome. Thanks. Thanks for noticing. That's, yeah. He's not wrong. I just want to say, um, I don't know where he got that idea from, but uh, shit, well, I, I don't even have to. I was about to pull out a physical prop. I don't even need to. I'm that fucking cool. Um, you know, uh, the mess, a lot of people don't notice that. They don't, uh, they don't realize, you know, till it's too late that we dominate the cool. <laughs> we are the coolest. Okay. Alright. And we're gonna stay cool and uh just deal with it. Alright. <laughs> we do, we dominate the cool. Hands out the Academy Awards. They do. So if I get an award, it's not gonna be an Oscar, it's gonna be like a Razzie. You're the worst actor, Dinesh. Yeah, but I was playing myself. Yeah, but you're horrible at playing yourself. So um Look, don't get me wrong. I really like it when we see your internal dialogue, the mess. We like it when we see what go what the the minuscule and uh, and quite frankly infrequent thoughts that bounce around inside that empty little dome of yours, and the weird little personal conversations you have with these imaginary people that apparently appear in your head and fuck with you <laughs> apropos of nothing um uh don't get me wrong I, I love i love hearing that uh stuff but i gotta tell you i got a lot of being cool to do and you're taking up my time so if you could get to the point and get just past your own sort of social awkwardness and your lack of self-esteem i mean it's hilarious but i i gotta say so here's a Razzie for you. When, when the left controls the board of the Lincoln Center, the left controls Hollywood, they con uh, control even the music industry, including now. Uh, uh, by the way, uh, for the record, we control it because we earned our way to the top with really good entertainment. Uh, and if you don't believe me, um, go watch all of the Left Behind movies and you'll see why Kirk Cameron is not in charge of shit. <laughs> it's not the, it's just, we make all the watchable, entertaining, uh, identifiable, uh, you know, well-crafted, visually stimulating, intoxicating, sexy, smart stuff. We do that stuff. You guys uh, do fucking Ben Shapiro movies. Large part of country music. They control the comedians. <laughs> A large part of country music. He's still chapped ass about Beyonce, isn't he? It's very difficult to be cool on the conservative side. You have. Mm, it shouldn't be. I got to tell you, dude, I don't think this has anything to do with your political beliefs. I really don't. I think it's your wife picking your shirts, and I think you're just a fucking dweeb. I think you're just a dweeb. And I think you're happy being a dweeb, and you've uh, it served you well up to this point. And now you're tired of being a dweeb and you just can't find a way out. I have to do it by somehow going up against these cool cats. Uh <laughs> well, if you're going to do that, don't don't call us cats because you, you sound like a, some guy trying to open for Dennis Miller. You may say out cooling them or acting cool in a way that they cannot make you uncool. <laughs> I just want to say you're doing great. If that's what you're going for right now, <laughs> nailing it. Stuck the landing. <laughs> Anyways, you were saying something about Trump being a marketing genius before you fell down a, ho a hole of uncool. And they are very successful at making Republicans uncool until they need them. Notice how uncool they made McCain until they needed him. Notice how uncool they made Romney. Yeah, no, no, nobody made, first of all, oh, fuck off. First of all, nobody made uh, McCain uncool. 
dude was a fucking fighter pilot and all that stuff. He had his nickname Maverick, all that kind of stuff. Dude ended up running for president on the Republican side. And he, and and had he not picked Sarah Palin, he might have had a rock solid chance of being president, dumb dumb. And Mitt Romney is is so Mormon, it's against his religion to be cool, you weirdo. He's cool like a local TV anchor man is cool right after he gets his hair done. What are you talking about? Until they needed him. So by and large, the cool factor on the right is. Sorry, did we did we hand them out like sunglasses and make them all dress like Joel from fucking risky business? Looks like University of Illinois. Only at the behest of the left. Trump is almost unique in doing. Also, real quick, uh, if you're trying to be cool, don't use behest. Just, just say it. It's not a bad word. It's just not cool at all. Behest. <laughs> See what I mean? You're, you're. I'm just saying. You're kind of. You're setting little landmines in front of yourself, and it's you know uncool landmines. It's basically. It's not. It's like a rake with a pie on the handle. <laughs> just. <laughs> Doing cool stuff, even though even though there is a massive engine that is trying to make him uncool. What he does is he somehow goes up against that. Uh, he goes to McDonald's. He sticks his head out the window. <laughs> Wait. Whoa. Ha hang on. I did not see this coming. I gotta say, this is too much of a of like a jerk of the wheel. To, what the hell? <laughs> Wait, Trump, he, you think he out -cool people by getting putting on an apron and going to McDonald's and filling like three boxes of fries and handing bags of free food out the window like a dickhead to pre-screened pre fans drive it? What the fuck are you, what? Are, are, is he making the argument that he made paper hats cool? Is that where he's going? What in the world? <laughs> he gets unrehearsed reactions from people who come through the drive-thru. They, they can't believe it. They go out of their mind. The video Unrehearsed? You're adorable. Videos that you've probably seen some of them on social media by now. Oh yeah, I totally seen them. The Brazil lady and the Indian dude and the uh, the people who are like, "What are you doing here?" Also, my tongue is white because the filter that does the glasses also makes your teeth super white and turns your tongue white. It's just stupid. I'm sorry. I have. Well, I'll do a better one. It's creeping me out too. Hold on. Nope, that won't work. Hold on. Hey, what's going on? That's better. Okay, that's a little more normal. They go nuts because they not only they can't believe that it's Trump, but they <laughs> why wouldn't they believe it's Trump? They literally have been frisked. <laughs> Their car has been searched by the Secret Service. They've all been frisked. They were all cleared as campaign operatives before they rolled up in there with their family members. Everybody went through a fucking background check. What do you mean? And they're like, what? I had no idea. Get out of town! <laughs> they, they can't believe that he's serving them the french fries. So that's marketing genius on Trump's part. I mean, there's a... <laughs> Hold on. Uh, it's... Sorry. It's marketing genius on Trump's part. Because you think those people didn't know he would be... You, you believed that those people were surprised. Oh, dear. There's a natural aspect to it. Trump is just being Trump. I thought it was really nice when an Indian guy in the car was like, you know, I'm just an ordinary guy. And Trump is like, no, you're, you know, you're not ordinary. And what Trump means by this is this. This is the, the aspect of Trump that I think has not been seen enough by the American people. In other words, you mean the, his, his magical ability to talk to pre-screened pre -screened sycophants? Yes, it's a... It's an amazing talent. I, I don't know how anyone could do it. Imagine doing a meet and greet after a show and they only let the fans that want to fuck you in the line. <laughs> what?
Republicans. The left keeps saying you're a bully and, 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 and Trump, you know, he'll bully other bullies, but no. Other bullies? Oh, you mean women? Sure. He's not bullying people like the Indian guy, right? The, in what, the Indian guy. Um, I'm sure you could look up his name. He works for the campaign. Indian guy. Well, he's a volunteer. They don't pay anybody because that's it's Trump. Trump is actually doing the opposite. He's elevating that guy. And and so that is the that is the natural. What he is, the guy's sorry. Did the guy get a raise? Did he actually move from being an unpaid volunteer of the campaign to a paid volunteer because they had to pay him? What What did he get stunt pay for driving his car through a drive through instinct of Trump? He has a an inherent human decency toward people that he exhibits in situations like this. But I'm talking about he's got an sorry. He has an inherent human decency when talking to psychotic supporters. The fact that the event itself is brilliantly conceived, brilliantly executed, and uh, I, 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 I think Dinesh is jealous that it wasn't him in the line. And it is marketing genius, because think about it, when you have all the media against you, what are they trying to do? They're trying to <laughs> they're kind of they're drawing attention to the fact that you're an adjudicated rapist and you were friends with Jeffrey Epstein for two and a half decades and that all your loans for your buildings are backfilled by Russian oligarchs and maybe even Vladimir Putin himself through the fucking uh, Deutsche Bank scandal where they were fined billions of dollars for doing exactly that and that you're selling all this junk to all your fucking supporters just to bleed them dry because you know you're going to lose the election but you're going to use their money to pay off all your fucking bills because you really don't give a rat's ass then and, and you think the, the media is drawing attention to that. So this is the perfect distraction is for him to go bullshit at a McDonald's for 15 minutes. Yeah, you're right. He's a genius. To deny you coverage. They're trying to make you look scary. They're trying to make you look dictatorial. Well, you're trying to make Trump look. Um, no, he's insisting that he will be look dictatorial and there he is you know in overalls and he's oh dear uh look the mess i understand you're a cool guy and you might be so cool and you're just too cool for school and you might not know that that's called an apron and he was wearing a suit he's not wearing overalls those those aren't over all your body parts they're just over the front they're over fronts it's an apron you absolute dickhead <laughs> oh sorry overalls yeah okay sorry <laughs> let's hear that again real quick wait one second if i may <laughs> Trump looked dictatorial and there he is, you know, in overalls and he's serving people French fries. That's the thing about <laughs> Yeah, that's it. That's the end of the clip. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. Uh if I may, um just a piece of magic. Thanks. Thanks the mess. Uh and and look. If anybody tells you that you're not cool, It's true, but I would also, uh, I think you probably shouldn't defend yourself by going, oh yeah, yes I am. I could totally play myself in a movie and I should get an Oscar for playing myself. It, it just doesn't, um, <clears throat> but good luck uh, overall shopping and um, uh, stay cool, my man. Um, <laughs> The turd polishing is strong with this one. Um, <laughs> hit that like, everybody, if you would. Uh, it's Hal Sparks Mega Worldwide, the greatest live stream in the history of live streams. I, hey, I don't make the news. I just report it. And I try to, uh, when I'm talking about this kind of thing, I try to, uh, you know, try not to fly in the face of public opinion. It's great. It's a great show. And, the, and uh, I'm sorry if people can't get in to the chat room because it's full. Uh, even outside, it's packed. Um, and, uh, and, uh, we are overflowing with Riz as well. Um, yeah.